Good afternoon, friends. I hope this daily connection finds you well. You may be noticing that there are various themes taking place each day as we, as I continue to do these daily connections. Sunday is worship. Monday is Music Mondays. Tuesday, I share some scripture with you and talk about the upcoming Sunday. Wednesday, I found that sharing a book or sharing um, something along those orders is kind of fun and also meaningful for our children, but also for all ages. Thursday is a church check-in day. What's going on at church? Um, is there anything that I can share with you just so that you know what's going on? And Fridays are Gratitude Fridays. So for this Thursday church check-in update, I will say that um, Julie and I have been mostly out of the office uh, quarantining ourselves in light of someone within our Hazel Park family um, being uh, possibly exposed to someone with COVID. That has passed and we will be um, poking our nose in a little bit more at church in the coming weeks. Um, so uh, as usual though, if for whatever reason you need to get to church to please call ahead um, before doing so. Um, Julie will be there more next week, starting next week. I will be more I will be there more um, and for sure recording services on Fridays. Um, as you know, we pre-record our services, which is just kind of a funny concept in its own right, but it seems to be working for us. The other thing I'd like to share with you is um, as we continue to hold our church family in prayer, um, we remember those who continue to grieve the loss of loved ones for the family of Pokey, for the family of Lee. And I also ask you to lift up in prayer Nancy as she is in her uh, final stages of life and for her husband Dave and her children Jen and Greg and their families. This is a time in which we remember them in our prayers as they go through this active grief process and how we can be church in this pandemic time. Though we are scattered, we can certainly be together in the power of prayer. Also today, there was uh, televised on TV the memorial service for George Floyd. And we continue to pray for that family as they grieve the loss of their loved one. And if you weren't able to catch the service in the course of that service, Reverend Al Sharpton gave the eulogy and at the end of the service or towards the end of the service, uh, Reverend Sharpton asked the congregation to stand in silence for eight minutes and 46 se seconds. And I was deeply moved in that time as that is the time that the officer was on Mr. Floyd's neck, eight minutes and 46 seconds. There is a lot of grief, hurt in this time. We all hold our, our stuff in our hearts, the stuff that we can name, the stuff that we just can't grasp. We are processing in this time. And how then do we be church in this time? On this day, yes, there's all kinds of action that needs to be done. And I don't want to minimize that at all. But in this moment, on this daily connection, for our church update, I'd just like us to pray. Pray for each other. Pray for your family. Pray for those who are grieving. Pray for those who are filled with hate. Pray for those who are needing to know that there are others who are praying for them. Pray for those who need to know that God is good. We pray for joy. We pray for light. We pray for grace and we pray for forgiveness. 
and above all else, we pray for love. So on this day, my friends, may we go forth in this prayer, knowing that God is with us in this journey. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.